Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are camping for what, the fifth weekend in a row? I think something like that. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> um, this is actually the first time we've been camping and we've had to set up in the rain, I think, though. We've been pretty lucky so far. <laughs> now we have one. Do we have one? We set up in the rain at Pleasant Hill, which we haven't released that video yet. Oh, that's mm -hmm. true. Well, one of us set up in the rain. The other one sat in the truck. Well, maybe that's why you forgot. That. That's probably why I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, we just pulled in here to uh, West Branch State Park. It's in Ravenna, Ohio. It's our first time camping here. So um, we're looking forward to getting out and hitting some of the hiking trails. I like to hike the Buckeye Trail and I know part of it goes through the park. And I did bring my inflatable kayak. If the weather's nice, we might try to get that out in the water and see how it does. Yeah, I'm gonna do the disc golf course. That should be a good time. And we'll probably do a little bit of tour of the campground for a review of every of this campground for everyone since it's our first time here. We haven't been anywhere lately that we haven't been to yet. Yeah. <laughs> so this well, is a new one for us. So stick around for the video. We hope you like it. Okay, here's our site at West Branch State Park, site number 190. And it is not the most level site. <laughs> Show you here. This 50 amp hookup. Some kayaks here, Scott and Lisa's kayak and ours. So the back of the site here, there's this fire ring and the picnic table is actually pretty far left of where your camper would be. But here's how far off it is. That's about as high as my waist, basically right there. And then in the front, the jacks are barely down the front, so it's kind of not the most level side. The level mate setup was over 15 inches off front to back when we pulled in. As we usually do at most of the state parks, we try to find a couple of geocaches, and this is one we're going to try to find. It's called Milton, and it was just found on the 8th, so a couple days ago, and it's actually been here for five years, and it's a highly rated favorite one, so we're going to go try to find it. All right, log is signed. I'm going to put everything back the way we found it. And then I just got to dig in my bag here for some little trinket to switch everything out with. There are too many compartments. Not that one. False alarm. We're going to try this third compartment here. There we go. We got it. We're good. A good geocacher would know exactly where that's I know. Is. I'm just a, just a rookie mistake. So we're going to switch out a lizard for a T-Rex. We are back in business. I will replace it exactly how I found it and we're done. Alright, now I have the grill going back here. It's the Weber Q1200. And we have hamburgers, hot dogs, and asparagus on here. And pretty good. We've been doing grilled asparagus quite a bit. I like it. Alright, so we're having dinner here at West Branch State Park. We thought we'd talk about it just a little bit just for a couple minutes, or maybe not even that, <laughs> a minute. A minute. Yeah. So it's a pretty nice park. It's laid out um, 
like most state parks. The sites are look like they're not. There's some brush between them, some of them, but it seems like a lot of them are deep sites. So a lot of the functionality or the use of the site is like behind where your camper's parked. Yeah. For a lot of these, so we're on site 190. Don't get that one. <laughs> it's, it's a not, little slight slope. <laughs> yeah, slight slope according to the new um, reservation reservation system. site, which is two thumbs down. If you think the new reservation site's terrible, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button on this video. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Join the club. So it's a pretty nice park. It's our first time here. It, it's pretty clean. It's The camp store was really clean. The shower houses, we didn't go inside, but they looked newer from the outside and, and clean anyways. It looked like they might have even had washers and dryers kind of by the yeah, front door. Yeah, we could see a couple washers see. and dryers from, in, from the doorway. We didn't go in, but... Um, there's a new section right in the middle. Well, it's an old section, but they're redoing it and making it into all full, full hookup sites. I forget the numbers on it. We'll put it in the video. And um, but yeah, it's I don't know the date when it's going to open, yeah. but the pads are poured. The it looks like the water's in. The concrete's poured. All that stuff. They need to do some some landscape style stuff. You know, level out some dirt and that type of thing. But it looked like a pretty nice place. It'll be right in the center of the park. Yeah. Yeah, some other things. The lake is phenomenal. We, me and my brother, my brother and his family were camping this weekend, but we did take the kayaks out, and it was uh, been a while since I've used the inflatable kayak. It's a newer investment for us, so it was fun to take out. But and we participated in some of the hiking trails. You went and played disc golf. Yeah, they have two disc golf course. One's right inside the campground, and one's right across the lake. It's a short drive. We did the one in the campground, nine holes, and it took us maybe an hour with four of us playing. So it was pretty nice and no issues there. It's, Except you did lose one frisbee. I didn't lose a frisbee. Oh, you didn't lose the no, frisbee. Scott lost the frisbee. <laughs> we, we looked, but we couldn't find it. We did see a big snake there, though, for real this time. The last brush pile we thought was snake country, but we actually did see a, a snake today doing that. So, uh, again, the, it's a nice park. There's 20 miles of uh, bridal trails. There's mountain bike trail. There are, I think it's like 150 sites or somewhere around that in here. Most of them are... Um, uh, electric there's some that are not but I think it was 29 full hookups or something like that um, then that new section will you know expand that out a little bit so that's that's pretty cool part of the Buckeye Trail goes through here yeah. a small portion of that so um, anyways that's our take on West Branch don't get site 190 go get something what well, site 193 was you know three sites down from us and really nice. if you have a kayak or you want to get down to the waters you know edge that's a really nice site. It's um, the back of it's huge, and then it kind of goes down like this hill, and you have almost like a little beach area in a way. Uh, <clears throat> it's right there on the cove that goes out to the lake, so that's a really nice uh, site. And there's a lot of sites like that here, not just that one. Yeah, but we, I mean, I would like to come back. It was a nice park. I just think it rained a lot of Friday night and into Saturday until what, like noon, noon yeah. today or something. So, I mean, when you're driving two and a half hours to get to a park, it's kind of depressing when you can't get up and go first thing oh, in the speaking morning. Speaking of the drive, Route 76. Yeah, <laughs> look for an <Terrible>. alternate. <laughs> it, it branches off, stay in, if you're coming north or northeast, stay in the right lane when it branches off because it does one of those where you think it's going to you know, drive for a while and then come back together, but if you're not in the right lane, you cannot exit. You will miss the exit, and her brother did that. So mm -hmm. luckily, by chance, we were in the right lane. We did not miss it. We had, when we got here, stuff was moved off the walls, the speaker covers and the ceilings were, were coming off, and then our, our kitchen slide had jumped out of its track somehow on the drive here, and it was completely fine when we put it in. Right. So I know it was the bumpy road getting here. It was terrible. <laughs> Yeah. So that's something that, um, just kind of pay attention to that if you can. Not a whole yeah, lot you can the, do about that. It was just that, the Akron, so like when we were going yeah. through Akron, like that part of it. So. It was a terrible part of the drive. So it's, you know, part of the part of the deal with camping, I guess, and travel. Thanks for watching the video. We really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And Yeah, also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We've been kind of playing around with those and sometimes put extra stuff on there that doesn't always make it into our videos. So feel free to check those out as well. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Thank you.